Ladies and gentlemen, we have really kind of crazy, interesting, big news coming out of the Pixel world. A feature that Pixel users have wanted for a very long time is rearing its head and may indeed be coming soon. Let's look at this article on AndroidAuthority.com. Google finally enables display output on the Pixel 8. And this next sentence is what they call a tease. Very well done, <laughs> Michelle. So... As you guys know, if you take your Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro, you plug it into a USB-C to HDMI cable or maybe just a C cable into a portable monitor like they have here that runs off C, nothing's going to happen. Now, I did a fairly thorough, in-depth, long video where I rooted my Pixel 8 and then sent a command that enabled this ability because the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro do indeed have the hardware capability to do display out, it was just disabled. And that has what that is what Google just reversed course on with this. So it is in Android 14 QPR beta number three. So I immediately went and I opted into that beta on the Pixel 8 Pro that no one is currently daily driving at my house and we are installing it. All right, so my Pixel 8 Pro is booting. As you can see, my bootloader is unlocked because of the aforementioned video. What I have here is an OLED portable monitor from Enosense. Something I get told a lot from people is they're like, it doesn't work, or, you know, different things about these USB-C cables running C to C. It doesn't work. You have to have the right cable. Not all cables can support video. So you got to make sure you have one that actually supports video that isn't always, look at that, it was yellow. That's not always the easiest thing to determine. What I do is I use something that I know has display out. I test it with that. This cable does work. So here in just a moment, we're going to plug this into the Pixel 8 Pro that I have here. And we're going to see how this works. And there is my home screen. Let's plug this in. And I'm testing kind of two things with this. So that's question number one. Indeed, is it going to power the monitor at the same time that it is hopefully driving it. And there is mirror to external display. And boom, guys, there it is. There is the display out happening. And you can see that is very, very responsive, very little lag. What about if we rotate this device? Let's play a YouTube video. And that's not too bad, right? You do have the black bars because I don't know what that is. Somehow or another, I must have put like a weird transition in this video without intending to. But at any rate, you have some black bars, right? Because it's trying to maintain this aspect ratio on a 16 by 9 display. But I don't think that's too bad. I do have one thing that I actually just realized that I need to test. I need to grab a different monitor. So aside from being much larger, this monitor is also a touch screen. It's also very dusty. Does the, oh, look at that. The touch screen absolutely works. Check that out. That's pretty cool. So that is an interesting little addition to this. Let's check something really quickly. Let's go into the settings. Let's come all the way down here and we're gonna look for developer options. I think I've already enabled that. If you don't know how to enable developer options, then you probably shouldn't be messing with this stuff anyways, but it's not too difficult to find. Let's scroll all the way down here to the bottom-ish. It's somewhere towards the bottom. Here we go. How about, uh, let's do force apps to be resizable, enable freeform windows and force desktop mode, enable non-resizable in multi-window, sure. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to reboot. I don't know if all of those were necessary, but we're gonna see what happens when we turn those on. We have booted, we have selected mirror display, nothing's happening here quite yet, no signal. One more time, mirror display popped up this time. This is what I wanted to see. As you can see, this is not that. There's an app drawer, looky there. Let's fire up YouTube and it's opened up in a floating window. What can you do with this? Well, you can drag it around. You can resize it, a little bit laggy, but it can be done. Any other gestures here? Can we drag it to a side? Does that do anything? No. Pay attention here too, let's zoom in just a hair, the controls up there. You can see that there's some work needing to be done, right? So it's not, not quite ready for prime time. But you kind of get the idea here though, right? I'm launching different applications. See, there's a problem. Like you can't even see some of those. Let's minimize. What does that do? Well, are they just gone? They might be gone. Again, yeah, definitely some problems going on with this, but you can see the makings 
of a desktop mode. And maybe people with more know-how can actually improve this a little bit. But yeah, you can see where this is going. Just so we're clear, if you want to actually do this yourself, I'm going to put a link to this web page in the description as well. Scroll down to where you see your Android devices. Simply click on opt-in and then check for an update and your Pixel 8 should begin installing this beta. Keep in mind, it's a beta and that means there could be bugs. You have to decide if it's actually worth it for you or not. And like I think I already said in this video, it is entirely possible that this feature will be here for this run of betas and may not be in the stable. It may be removed with the beta number three. We just don't know for sure what's going to happen here. We've seen weirder things happen though. So keep all that very much in mind. So as you can see, that is working just fine. Really cool and a much simpler, much easier way to get this feature compared to what I showed you guys months back. But there was that tease. Here was what it could mean for a DEX-like mode. Let's scroll down here and Michelle talks a bit about this, that they are continuing, they being Google, to work on a desktop mode for Android. As you know, Samsung has DEX and Motorola has ready for these things where you plug in your phone and it runs this desktop mode. Google is working on their own version of this for Android. Of course, Dex and some of these other things kind of piggyback on what Google already made. It's kind of an odd situation. Google started to make a desktop mode. Samsung took it from there. And now Google's kind of trying to finish their desktop. It's very, very complicated. But at any rate, he says perhaps it's coming with something like the Android 15 release because they've been steadily working on it since 2022 and perhaps the reason that they are enabling this in this beta version is because they need physical hardware as Michelle says to test their desktop mode changes on. What does this mean for the future? Well it's hard to say. In fact we've seen Google enable features in these betas and then disable them shortly thereafter so let's not get our hopes too high that this is even going to stay, let alone that this is indicative of a desktop mode coming anytime soon. But if we cross our fingers hard enough, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps that could be what this is meaning. And that would be an absolute game changer because this is not just big, I mean, it'd be huge for pixels, right? For pixels to have like a proper desktop mode. And you can see here sort of the work in progress view of what can sort of be enabled currently. But then what if Google does something very interesting and just makes this a part of Android that any OEM can tap into? That would be incredible to see. So guys, I'm going to put a link to this article in the description down below. Go check it out. Read the rest of it because I left a lot of potentially interesting stuff out to incentivize you to go to that article and read it yourself. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.